It's really important um, when thinking through some of these technology companies. You know, I tell the story sometimes of everything people see, but in 2015, we ended up starting the company. We had two employees. 2016, we had an absolute massive employee growth uh, year, grew our workforce by 50%, so we were up to three. Um, then grew again, 2016, we were at three. 2017, we were at four. 2018, by the end of the year, we had 17. 2019, uh, we had 35. And then 2020, 21, um, kind of slow, but in 2022, we got things back on track. Um, we got our company growing, scale again, and even secured uh, yeah, institutional investment and financing that is pretty rare for um, for people to look at uh, people in South Dakota for. We got what's called a Series B. It basically means um, you, you have capital that is, is betting on some pretty predictable outcomes. And so I tell this story because, you know, as we've gone through this tra trajectory, our belief is uh, the impact that we want to have on this community and really changing the trajectory of the story of all, a lot of these people leaving uh, we think property mills can be one of the many answers um, to helping reverse that trend. And so as we talk about, you know, even this, the end of this year, we're around 70 employees. Um, the next year we're anticipating being over 100 and that number continues to compound and grow. And I think one of the important things and just asking for the help here is our ability as a community to help support efforts like this. And I know it sounds a, a, uh, a little selfish to, to kind of ask for help and support in these matters. Um, but running some of these businesses is really hard, especially out of the normal place that people run software and technology companies. 